Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I am going to read Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Chapter 14. Norbert, the Norwegian rich, rich back, page 231-233. You should see the bonds Charlie's got of wild ones in Romania, but there are wild dragons in Britain, said Harry. Of course there are, said Bond. Common Welsh green and the Hebridean blacks. The Ministry of Magic has a job hushing them, hushing them up. I can tell you, I can't have to keep putting spells on muggles. We spotted them to make them forget. So what on earth is Hagrid up to? Said Hermione. When they knocked on the door of the gamekeeper's hut an hour later, they were surprised to see that all the curtains were closed. Hagrid called. Who is it? before he let him in and, and then shut the door quickly behind them. It was a stifling hot inside. Even though it was such a warm day, there was a blazing fire in the grate. Hagrid made them tea and offered them a straw sandwich, which they refused. So you yeah, wanted to ask me something? Yeah, said Harry. There was no point beating around the bush. We were wondering if you could tell us what's guarding the Sorcerer's Stone apart from Fluffy. Hagrid frowned at him, of course I can. Number one, I don't know myself. Number two, you know too much already, so I wouldn't tell you if I could. The stone's here for a good reason. It was almost stolen out of Gringotts. I suppose you've worked at that and all. Uh, bits me how you even know about Fluffy. Oh, come on, Hagrid. You might not want to tell us, but you do know. You do know, you know everything that goes on around here, said Hermione. In a warm, flattering voice, Hagrid's beard twitched and they could tell he was smiling. We only wondered who had done the guarding, really. Hermione went on, we wondered who Dumbledore had trusted enough to help him. Apart from you, Hagrid chest swelled at these last words. Harry and Ron beamed at Hermione's. Well, I don't suppose you could have heard to tell you that, uh, let's see, he borrowed the fluffy from me and then some of the teachers did in chairman, Professor Spura, Professor the Flitwick, Professor McGonagall, he tickled them off on his finger. Professor the Quirrell and Dumbledore himself did something of course. Hang on. I've forgotten someone oh yeah, Professor Snape. Snape? Yeah. Yeah, not still uh, is not you're not still on about that, are you? Look, Snape helped to protect the stone, he's not about to steal it. Harry knew uh, Ron and Hermione were thinking the same as he was. If Snape had been on protector's stone, it must have been easy to find out how the other teachers had guarded it. He probably knew everything except the same. Could all just spill and how to get past the Fluffy. You're the only one who knows how to get past Fluffy, aren't you, Hagrid? said Harry anxiously. And you wouldn't tell anyone, would you? Not even one of the teachers? Not a soul knows except me and Dumbledore. Well, that's something, Harry muttered to other. Hagrid, can we have a window open? I'm boiling. Can Harry, sorry, said Hagrid. Harry noticed him glance at the fire. Harry looked at it too. Hagrid, what's that? But he already knew what, was, what it was. In the very heart of the fire, underneath the kettle, was a huge black egg. Ah, said Hagrid, the fiddling nervously with his beard. That's, uh, where did you get it, Hagrid? Said Ron, the crouching over the fire to get a closer look at the egg. It must cost your fortune, won't it? Last night I was down in the village having a few drinks and got into a game of cards with a stranger. I think he was quite glad to get rid of it, to be honest. But uh, what are you going to do with it when it's hatched? said Hermione. But I've been doing some reading, said Hagrid, pulling a large book from under his pillow. Got this out of, out of the library, dragon breeding for pleasure and profit. It's a bit out of date, of course, but it's all in here. Keep the egg in the fire, because their mothers breed uh, the breed on them. I uh, see, and when it hatches, feed it on a bucket of uh, bready, uh, mix with the chicken blood every half hour. I uh, see here how to recognize different eggs. What I got there is Norwegian rich bag. They are rare, you know them. He looked very pleased with himself, but her man didn't. Hagrid, you live in a wooden house, she said. Hagrid wasn't listening. He was humming merrily as he stalked the fire. 
So now they have something else to worry about. What might happen to Hegri if anyone found out he was hiding an illegal dragon in his hut? The end.